took the floor, about half of the floor, and it's got all this insulation stuff on the bottom of the board. I don't know if anyone else has had this, but my God, what a job it is to get off. It's, I don't even know, what is it? It's like hair. And it's like it's all tall. Oh, down over the place. It didn't stick to the board, but it stuck to the floor. And it looks like I've got a bit of a, a bit of a job to do because look, all them rust spots, that insulation stuff didn't help that floor, did it? Well, another job. These jobs are sent. Well, I don't know what this stuff is, but it's it's like a paint stripper. When you're trying to take it off, it's taking the paint off as well. It's and that's the white paint coming off. What the hell is this stuff? It's I don't know. How the hell are you supposed to get it off without the paint? So, it looks like I'm going to have to paint this floor. Uh, otherwise it will rust. Look at that. It's took, all, it's took all the paint off right down. It's, it's going to be the best paint strip I've seen. And it's like still wet. The villain's like 10 year old, like a tar. And when they try and scrape it, it's, it's taking the white paint off. Oh well, what the hell is that stuff? Has anyone seen that before? When they spent a van, well, trying to scrape it off. You just scrape that. That's Taking the paint off with it. I get there in the end. <laughs> Got some uh, alcohol, Roman alcohol, and it seems to be taking it off. It's not doing the thick stuff, but it's tidy it down a little bit. So, and it'll take us a, a week or two to do this, I think. But I don't know what else better to do. Still no fishing gear. Next week, apparently, it's in England now. The van is back in England. But they've put it in their depot down in Coventry. And I'm going to get it back next week sometime. Don't know when, but sometime. But I've got all that off. I'm going to have to take that off the back of the air. Uh, that board as well. And I've got the rest to do. But keeps us busy. There's that many rust spots on it. I thought, well, I might as well just sand it down. Eat a good sandpaper. <laughs> Six inch DA sander, air sander. So, and this is what I'm doing. It's going to take ages, this. I'll see you in two weeks.
Down to the floor. Sounded. Well, I think I'll put some uh, undercoat on. Red oxide. Let it dry tonight. I think it is. What a lovely job, if I don't say so up myself. Red oxide. I've done a nice thick coat. I don't think I'll need to. But, got the rest of it to do next. But, Little bit at a time, and you soon get it done. Ah, just took the other one up. I thought these were in three parts. All the videos I've seen are in three parts, but this one, that must be special. In two parts. Anyway, this deadening, sound deadening stuff. Half of it stays on the board, and half of it hasn't. I wonder if it's because if it's getting wet at some point because that but there's rust there around I'm very very uh, happy about this there is not much rust looks like it, it might be quite thick that one like that going quite there's quite a bit in there but I was expecting a bit more rust here, yeah, like. Right. Right. But I'll scrape that off, sand it down when I need to sand it down and paint it. Quite happy about that. It doesn't seem to be very much. So let's get started. That's it all scraped off. Still, there's a bit of rust there. Just starting. Top rust. It's not as bad as I thought it might have been. Seems it's a 10 year old van. But let's get started. Right, so that's another quarter of the van. I've had to take all the paint off because when I was doing little bits, the flake, some of the paint was just flaking off and there was rust, a little tiny rust spot underneath. So I thought I might as well take it all off. Might as well do the whole lot when I've done all that. So now I'm painting it with red oxide. Right, it took us all day but that is another four up. All ground off, sanded down. So that's about half I think. No, I'll paint that now. I've got all the rust off this end now. Lovely. And you see, I've used the sander with the anti grit, and then I've used the spring. And I'm impressed with the spring leg. It gets right in and gets all of the rust out. Quite pitted. I put it rust care on first. Quite a bit started, but I think I've caught it caught it in time. 
then I'd be painting it with red oxide. And this side of the wheel bar isn't too bad actually, it's just top, the top bush, but I'll buy a wheel enough. Get it prepared. It's all been undercoated, red offside. Now, get some new seam seal I put on. And that's it, bulkhead out in the, in the passenger seat, in the bottom, the mat. Couple of little, just top rust started. I caught it in time. And I don't know what's going on in there, like, but I'm going to find out. I've tried washing it. Now I've got to scrape it rest off. Right now, bulkhead's out, passenger seat's out. There's a few little tiny tip rust started, just so it's not very pitted either. So I've sanded it down where I wheeled it, and now I'm red oxide primer. Red oxide, all done in the wheel bars. Now it's time to put seam sealer. Get some seam sealer on it. So now I've got the seam sealer all done in the corner. I've taped off the holes. The little holes where the plastic trim goes on. And now I'm red oxide on the inside. Up to there. So that'll seal it in if there's any moisture. There is a hole down there in the corner where all the water goes down to. So leak down there if there's any condensation, go down here, along down the hole, and down to the bottom panel. So just get all of them done. Nice thick coat of red oxide primer. So now I've got the steam sealer done. I'll put another coat of red oxide primer on the outside. I've taped up the holes where the plastic trim goes. So if there is any moisture or anything it gets trapped, it'll go down and there's a little hole down there and that's where it'll go, down to the bottom trim and out of the little weak holes on the bottom trims. Got the rest of it to do. Another day, another challenge. Well, that's the one all clean. And the floor scrubbed again and painted again. Second coat of red oxide. I think that's, that's sealed that floor in. Right, what's next? Mm, what's next?